Ladies and gents, welcome back to another video. Inside this package, I believe is an iPod Touch first generation. And I think the reason I bought it was because it was really cheap. I'll put the price right here. I don't think there's anything special about it, but let's open it up and find out. Yuck, what is this cable? Oh my goodness. This is the nastiest charging cable I've ever seen in my life. Holy cow, what do people do to their stuff? What in the world? This is awful. E-waste coming your way. And that's lovely. Look at this thing. What is this? It's got like hair stuck to it. And it looks like someone spilled Coke or coffee on it. Holy cow. I'm gonna give this thing a clean before I touch it anymore. Okay, I got the iPod cleaned up as much as I would like to for now. We do have a screen protector here. It's pretty interesting. So it doesn't cover the bottom bezel. It starts right there, but it does cover the top bezel and it's like just a rectangle. It's just kind of slapped on here. It's they're missing part of the, they didn't even get all the actual screen. So that was done pretty poorly. And on the back, we don't, I don't know what's going on here. This would just not scrub off some sort of like sticky adhesive. Really nasty. We can see this is an eight gigabyte model. So the base configuration. I'm going to go ahead and connect this thing to power and see if it turns on. And we have the low battery but charging symbol. We'll let this sit for a little bit and once it gets some power, we'll see if it boots up. All right, we've got power here and unfortunately we have a bad power button. So I did slide to unlock and now I can't close or turn off the iPod. But the home button works, so I guess that's more important anyway. So we're met by the, I believe, iOS 3 home screen. We've got some apps over here, some sort of bowling, Bejeweled, Bills, Coldplay, Facebook, Words with Friends, and YouTube. Well, let's head into settings and check general and about. So we can see we've got 3.1.3. I believe we're going to have quite a few songs, and we do. This iPod is almost full. Let's see what kind of music this thing has. And I might actually turn the flash off because it seems to be reflecting there. That might be a little better. So looks like we have quite a bit of hip hop, maybe a little bit of pop mixed in there. Fair assortment of artists. Looks to be iTunes music because it does have the album cover. All right, quite a few songs. I think I saw some videos on there. Let's see if we open videos here. So those appear to be music videos, no movies or TV shows. See if we have any interesting photos. I may not end up showing you guys these, but it appears to just be some generic music stuff. All right, there, someone was paying their bills from an iPod Touch. That's the first time I've ever heard of that. Let's see if these apps work. Of course, this iPod does not have a built-in speaker, so we're not gonna be able to hear anything, but we can see if I can play a little Tap Tap Revenge here. And I'm losing points already just for uh, missing my taps. All right, that works pretty well. It feels a little bit laggy, but nothing too crazy. Not bad, this would be a little better if you could actually hear the song. But enough of that, let's see about to be jeweled. All right, we'll go with classic. I've never played this, so I'm not sure what this is. Is it like Candy Crush? That's kind of how it looks. Yeah, it is, not a fan. All right, um, 
we'll do this app looks like some sort of bowling or maybe ski ball and we will see how this plays I think I'm recording this video at 60 frames per second so you should be able to tell how well these apps are running on here if the if this one even loads gotta love these first and second gens with uh, one eighth of a gigabyte of RAM I think they had 128 megabytes good for basically just running the operating system and playing music and stuff somehow they managed to get by with a few very simple games but the experience is not great you're gonna need at least an iPod touch third gen to get some respectable gaming experience and I don't think bowling is gonna load so there you have it I think these other things require internet which I'm not gonna get on for the moment actually I am you know what because I want to see if the App Store works on iOS 3 all right we're on the network I'm gonna go ahead and open the App Store and I expect this to take quite some time to load and it's been a couple of minutes and the iPod is still just spinning here I'm not sure that's gonna work we will try the iTunes Store but my expectations for that are pretty low as well and I think the problem is actually going to be the date and time because it is currently 540 so that is incorrect I bet if I change the date and time then those things will work alright let's give this one more try while we wait for that we can take a little peek here at these background phones of course we've got our iOS 6 iPhone 5 beautiful condition little tiny well no actually I thought there was a little scratch up there but there's not this might be one of the flawless models better get it plugged in so it doesn't die and over here we've got our iOS 9 iPhone SE another flawless device really beautiful condition the same cannot be said for this iPod touch here that is still loading but we do get the little tab down here let's see if we can make any progress on this thing oh look at that we have apps and they actually load and appear to be okay let's see if it lets us view the details for the apps and it just launched into Safari I don't know what it's doing interesting and our Wi-Fi signal just dropped out of nowhere kind of strange stuff going on here oh look at that it actually did work pretty cool although Minecraft never ran on this first gen iPod touch all right there you have it that's been a look at this iPod again that's how much I paid for it fair deal if you ask me it's in really bad condition though but at least the battery holds a charge I think it does but the power button does not work so that's a bummer it leaves us with one working button because this thing has no volume controls let's check out the iOS 3 wallpapers before we go because we don't get to look at iOS 3 very often all right I feel like we have to go with one of these older iPod only wallpapers those look pretty cool of course they're only visible on the lock screen which I can't even show you guys unless I let this thing die but we're not going to wait around for that so with that said that's going to conclude this video as always thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in another video